Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Saturday, December 22nd. It's the third week in Advent and week three in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 139 and Luke chapter 3 verse 1 through 9. And join me now in singing the uh, second verse of On Jordan's Bank. Then cleanse me every heart from sin, make straight the way for God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Psalm 139, and please recite it with me. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You know my walking and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O God, know it all together. You have beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you, but the night shines as the day, and the darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being. You have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. I know them well. My body was not hid from you when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body, unfinished in the womb, and in your book all my members were written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me, O God, how great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O God, the bloodthirsty must depart from me. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with perfect hatred, and I count them my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 3 beginning at verse 1. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Etruria and Trachonitis, and Licinius ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. Prepare the way of the Lord and make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain 
and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. And John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Beloved Creator, we praise you for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back and lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.